Hey there, today I'm sharing three unique high-end Dollar Tree spring DIYs. Let's get into it. First, you're going to need an LED pillar candle from Dollar Tree. These beautiful napkins, again from Dollar Tree, from their spring fling collection. I am going to be separating the layers of the napkin. I just kind of roll the corner a little bit and that helps to separate the pieces and then you can pull them apart. So now I'm just measuring the length of the candle onto the napkin and then I'm going to cut my napkin to size. There is a bit of a rough edge on the bottom of the napkin there so I'm just cutting that off and then I am going to cut down the middle and it's just the length I need. Just checking to make sure I do have the right amount I need. You could use tissue paper if you can't find some pretty napkins. Now using some matte decoupage glue, I am going to work in sections and apply the glue to my candle and then roll the candle onto the napkin as shown. I want to take a moment and welcome you all to Creative by Nature DIY and Decor. My name is Donna. I'd love for you to tap on that thumbs up to let me know that you're enjoying this content. You can gently smooth it out with your fingers, but I don't mind the little bit of wrinkling. I just kind of find that it adds to that nice homey look. And again, I just like to work in sections. Now don't apply the glue on the exterior at this point because you will have to trim off any excess napkin and then you can carry on. Once your napkin is all covered, you can trim off any excess on the bottom as well. Now you can give a coat of the decoupage glue over the entire piece of your napkin that's on your candle. Now you could use Mod Podge, of course, but I prefer this Artist Mind brand I picked up from Michael's, I believe it was last year. I just really like the finish that it gives. So once you have all the napkin decoupaged onto your candle, you can then set it aside and allow it to dry well. Once your candle is dry, then you can decorate it. I thought it would be really fun to glue on these really pretty florals that I picked up from Dollar Tree. They come in all kinds of colors. I just picked the more neutral ones, these off-white and these kind of apricot color. Using some hot glue, I am applying them to my candle. You need wire cutters to trim these pieces down. And then I'm just kind of creating like a garden look. I just thought it would be such a fun, unique and high-end look for these candles. Dollar Tree has a really nice selection of some different florals, so just use whatever you love. I know these particular florals came in a pink and a purple as well. I think it would be so, so pretty for your spring decor. Here I am now adding a bit of the greenery. It's a really fun little fern piece. I know Dollar Tree also carries some little fern bushes, so keep that in mind. So now I've got my candle all covered with the florals and just to finish it off on the bottom, just to hide those raw edges, I am going to wrap the bottom of the candle and florals with some jute twine. I wrap it around several times. You can add a dab of hot glue here and there to help hold it into place. And I like to just tie it off in a knot. I love this candle. I think it's so pretty for my spring decor. Definitely looks high end and it's all from Dollar Tree Supplies.
For our next DIY, I'm going to be using this really fun vase and I'm going to be using a mixture of some off-white and antique white paints along with some baking soda and I'm going to be applying this paint mixture onto this little vase. Now this paint mixture is left over from a previous project that I had done. And basically you're just mixing some baking soda in with your craft paint into a thicker consistency. It kind of reminds me of chalk paint a little bit. It's actually got a bit more texture. I am now using a really soft, gentle brush now and applying a second coat of my paint mixture and then I allow it to dry well. As you can see, there's lots of texture and I love that. Now I'm not sure how well it's going to hold up being on the glazed finish. So I've decided to apply satin varnish all over my paint finish and that will really help to set the paint. Once the varnish is all nice and dry, you can then add a little decorative embellishment if you'd like. I'm going to use these rub-on transfers that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut out these leaves. You could use any pattern you'd like, they have lots to choose from. I just wanted to keep this really nice and simple. So I've cut the leaves out that I'd like to use and I removed the backing and using a craft stick you're going to apply it by rubbing it onto the vase. Now you have to press quite firmly and make sure that you get all the little bits of the leaf pattern onto your vase. I just slowly work my way making sure that I get all of the bits of the transfer onto my vase. You can gently lift the backing off just to see if you have a connection and then I am going to seal it off using my varnish. You can then add some beautiful spring florals from Dollar Tree. Some pussy willows would look so cute in here. I love how this turned out. I think it's a really nice modern high-end look again from Dollar Tree. So for our third DIY, I'm going to be using this square canvas board and I picked this up from Dollar Tree last year. I'm going to give it a coat of this Deco Art leaf foliage green paint. It's my favorite, favorite color right now. I think it's so pretty and fresh for springtime. So I'm going to give a coat to this canvas board and then allow it to dry well. Once the canvas board is all nice and dry, I didn't bother to paint the back. That was just me. Feel free to do so. I'm now applying some of this preserved reindeer moss to the inside portion of this frame. I love the way this looks. I think it really provides a fun and whimsical look and really brings it to the next level. So I'm just using some hot glue and then pressing the moss down into the frame. I've got my frame all filled in with moss and I did leave a tiny little center empty but I felt like it just needed a little bit more so I'm going in and dry brushing some white paint onto the green and I thought that just made it look a little bit better just helped everything just to pop a little bit more and again give it that high-end look so I'm just dry brushing a bit here and there onto the green paint So once you have the desired look, you can set it aside and allow it to dry. So now I'm going to be using these fun felt coasters that I found in the Spring Fling collection along with this daisy floral garden. 
I cut one daisy flower and some leaves from the garland. And now using some hot glue, I'm actually going to attach that daisy to the middle of this coaster. These coasters come in different colors. There was pink, purple, and a darker teal. I'm now gonna use some hot glue and attach some of these leaves just underneath the petals of this daisy. And this will create a really fun and beautiful embellishment. So now to put our pieces together, I'm using a wood bead and adding some hot glue and I'm placing it into the center of the moss where I didn't have any moss attached. And now again, using some hot glue on the back of our flower, I will attach it to the wood bead and then you have a really fun and beautiful high-end looking spring decor piece. You could add a hook to the back and then hang it on your wall, or as I do, put it on an easel. As always, I would love to know which project was your favorite. I want to thank you all so much for being here today and for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Thank you.